Welcome Pod Fam, this is the Pod Squad. Today we'll bring you our best knowledge regarding circulating topics in the sports world. I'm the hype man. I'm the brain. I'm the life coach. I'm the enthusiast. And this is The, the Pod. Pod. Well folks, you, what is this, yep. week 11? I mean, we've been doing this 11 weeks strong. Yeah, you hear that, Hub? 11 weeks compared to your one. Yeah, or science pod <laughs> compared to your... Two, I mean, we are the pod fathers of this new Holstein pod um, fad, if you will. But, uh, folks, we uh, got a great show for you today. Um, we're not 100% sure if we're streaming right now. Oh, we're good. We're live. Well, we're live. We're live. Right we're there. We're live video. Where can you find us on YouTube, Kyle? Uh, you just search the New Holstein Podcast, and it should be titled New Holstein Podcast yeah, Live Stream. It, it might even be on, like, the fire version on your apps. If you click on it, it might be the first one to come up on your fire version, like it's trending. Yeah, we're That's trending on, on YouTube. That yeah, we got a whole two people right now. <laughs> yep, we're back. We're back. Um... You know, uh, and it's gonna be a great show. We're gonna talk Husky sports as usual. Um, NCAA men's basketball. Um, a lot of things happening there. Um, we got the NBA. We skipped out on that last week, but guess what? Pre-trade deadline NBA talk. We yep, are back. We're back. We got your favorite, quote unquote, the best um, section of the podcast from Tyler Vixmer, known as yep. um, Claw Talk. Talk with Vixie. <laughs> Self-proclaimed at the best part of the pod. Yep. Um, we're going to talk about uh, worst jerseys in sports, like we pr- promised you we were a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, we're going to we got some trivia for you tonight for a half court shot, I believe. Yeah. Well, Friday. Friday. Throwing Friday. it in random, so you better yeah. be listening Keep the whole listening. time. Keep, Keep listening. listening. And uh, uh, hey, mom. Yeah, I bring his mom. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're ex- we're excited today. Uh, we're going to kind of get right into it, so we can be a little more efficient here. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, boys basketball, we got a game tonight against St. Lawrence. Um, not, I mean, not that you shouldn't play this game, but uh, not going to be one of the more challenging games, I don't think. You know, I would for hope the, it wouldn't be. For the, for the boys, but we never know. I mean, like, it, any team can win any time. Um, so, uh, but this Friday, I think, is the big game, right? Yes, Ron against, Colley at home. It's going to be a big test. That is, yeah, could, for could sure. potentially give us a better seed if we win. Yes. Ron um, Colley, I believe, is second or in the top three in conference. I know that for sure. So yeah. definitely a big game. She can't, sure. She can't understand um, and, uh, you know, the, the big question is now with, with tonight, I don't think tonight's game gets us any more seating in the uh, – in, in in the in the in the rankings there, but I think if we if we either play Ron Colley tough on uh, Friday or beat Ron Colley, I think maybe we can uh, upgrade uh, our our seating a little bit. Um, so how are we going to wind up in the EWC? Well, um, I got to pull up the EWC rankings, but yeah, I yeah the brain's going to get the he's the only yeah. fact checker here. Yeah, yep. That is my reputation here on the podcast, but I believe we're in, we're just right in the middle chunk of the EWC right now. We do have some quality wins, and I would argue some quality losses, especially um, against Valders at home, coming back down thirteen, I believe. That was like a five huge minutes left. Comeback. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't know if we've talked about the game on the pod, have we? Mm-hmm. No, we haven't no, talked about. It. I think that game. Wow, that was a that was an amazing thing. The boys played with a lot of heart. I think there was just, and for those of you who were there, about. 
in the last two minutes, about two or three possessions that we really needed to make something happen, um, but couldn't couldn't get anything happening. Um, and I think that was the key to that game. And I think the guys kind of understood that they, they uh -huh. you know, there's two or three possessions that they wish they could have had back. But that was uh, that was uh, uh, huge stuff. Well, um, all right. So in the EWC right now, we are fifth in conference ahead of Two Rivers Brilliant and Chilton. We're one game behind Keel and two games behind Ron Colley. And Sheboygan Falls and Valders are, you know, I don't think anyone's going to catch them this year. But, you know, I think we do have the potential to be tied with Keel at the end of this season. So yeah. that'll yeah. bring us tied for fourth, which will be a good finish in this tough. Yeah, it'd be nice if Keel lost this. Who's Keel? Does Keel play anybody like, uh, like oh a Valders or a... Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I think they they're play They play Chilton tonight. Okay. He'll play Chilton tonight. That'll be or, No, that'll not be. tonight, Friday. I'm sorry, Friday. So oh. they probably don't have any tough games. No. No. Okay. I, think, I think they played Valor twice already, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just, wondering, yeah. I'm just wondering if they have like a Sheboygan Falls that, mm -hmm. that they could lose. You know, if they lost two yeah. more games and we won yeah. our last two, you know, we could jump them a little bit. Because I hate the kill. Yeah, the kill Raiders, yeah. We don't like them. Yeah, but like over overall, I think we're playing good. We have a really nice chance to um, go far for sure. Yeah, absolutely. yeah definitely. I, we had a good, a nice turnaround here at the end of the season. Yeah, we split with Keel. I think you know it's you know it's high school in the in the NCAA are kind of alike. Where yeah, you know you, you don't necessarily have to be the best team for the whole season. You just gotta yep. be hot, right? Gold you gotta be hot when it matters, and right now they're being hot when it matters, just like the Wisconsin Badgers. Exactly. They're figuring out their identity. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to the Badgers yet, Brady. Hold your. Oh no, I know, but I'm. I'm. We'll rain it okay. in a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm just relaying uh, our boys' basketball team to the Badgers because right now they're they're finding they're finding their jive, their groove. It's starting to fit well, and uh, you know tonight's gonna be hopefully a breeze, and Friday will be a good test. We should end up with the victory. We should honestly win out. I hope so. Uh -huh. I hope so. I think we're playing hot, and um. You know, like I said, uh, or like we are talking about on the pod, like trying to get, I think a home game is really what we need. Yeah. With that, like that game you talked about, Valders, before they had a guy by the name of Alex Sheeler at 28 points, a guy that missed one three out of, I don't know how many he took, but oh I think gosh, he made about man. like six or seven. The man couldn't miss. He was on fire, literally. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, had, to flame. had to get him to the tundra. But, you know, if you minimize his game, you know, Put your hand in the face. You know, we are right there in these games. We just got to, you know. Finish it out. And like I said, those yeah. couple possessions at the end, especially after making that huge comeback, it's a shame to just give two or three possessions away in that final clutch minute. Mm -hmm. You know, bad pass. Yeah, bad and Valders even selection. left it open for us, missing the free throws. Yeah, that absolutely. was on oh, yeah. Absolutely. We're, I was, trading. We're I was, trading. I was losing my mind <laughs> watching that game. That was I, Vince, crazy. Vince, Vince, were you at that game banging that water bottle around? Oh, yes, I was. Yeah, I yeah. thought I heard Yeah, he was there. Yeah. yeah, I thought Vix was there yeah, his water bottle. I am, aka like the noisemaker at Jones <laughs> Tyler Vixmer, aka the noisemaker. Yep. <laughs> he comes up with his own nicknames yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, he comes up with his own nicknames. Yeah, Randall hates the bottle, doesn't he? He always gives you crap for it. Yes, he does. Uh, just tell Randall you're trying to be a fan. He hates fans <laughs> appreciating the game. He hates the so. pandemonium. <laughs> Randall hates the pandemonium. Yeah. <laughs> God, Randall, I hope you're listening. <laughs> um. But um, I think we do need a home game. I think we're right there to get a home game. I mean, we, we looked at the uh, sectional seedings before we started this, and mm -hmm. we were like, I mean, like we're, we actually we're, we're like in the middle of the pack, and I mm -hmm. think top half gets a home game. Yep. You know, so I think if, if mm -hmm. we can pull like a five, six, or seven seed, we're going to be getting that home game, and that'd be a nice way to start it off and, and, and you know, hopefully beat a weaker team and, and have a little more confidence moving forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wrestling? Should we talk about now? Yeah, wrestling. We yeah. haven't really brought it up much, but uh, they had a regional meet on Saturday, I believe. They, they had a regional meet on Saturday, mm -hmm. and um, yep. they got three wrestlers, I believe, advancing to sectionals. Yep, that's what yep. I'm reading here. We got yep. Jacob Barth. I believe he won his regional. He won in his weight yes, class. Yes, he did. And then I think Matt Beekle and um, Anthony Purnell, they both got second. Yep. Second. They yep. both got second. So that's pretty impressive for those three guys. Congrats to them going on to sectionals. Yep, and I think. Uh, uh, we had a lot of other guys that were close, which is also, I mean, it's also good. I mean, yeah. wrestling's kind of those, one of those sports where... Jacob Kaiser. Yeah, Jacob, well, he broke a rib. Right. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. he probably would have, you know, and he's a little bummed out, and we're bummed for him because he really wanted to make it, but, you know, injuries happen in sports. And so that's the kind of thing that goes down. Uh, but, yeah, wrestling, uh, I think they got sectionals this weekend, um, and we're kind of looking forward to see what uh, Jacob, Matt, and uh, Tony are going to do. Yeah. 
Bucky oh Badgers. Oh. Yeah, Brady, right. hold your, hold Brady. <laughs> Brady's gonna have to, don't get fired. Relax. Get a little bit easy. <laughs> easy. Uh, right. So, uh, Brady okay. started. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, like the other day, uh, Randall, speak of the band, asked me. He wants to do something at night after the Badger game. I'm like, no, Randall, I'm tired. He's like, why are you tired? I was like, you know, I, I had to work today, and I, I did some other stuff. And uh, and considering that I yelled at the TV for half the game, it that you know, kind of just wears you out. But uh, oh, I want to tell you folks, it, w- it was good yelling. It was good yelling. Yeah. So uh-huh. <laughs> that means Bucky Streak hits seven. Seven games. Seven. Wait, was seven. Mer- seven. Was seven. Was Maryland ranked number two? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, and we uh, we didn't beat them by like you know three points like they beat us. We beat them by thirteen. Oh yeah! We're back. We are back, folks. Oh, yeah, Diamond Stone. I think I think are back. Yeah, we're gonna watch some highlights real yeah, quick here like, really for the yeah. viewers on, on the YouTube. We got this new technology. We got techno. Wait, we got technology, guys. Yeah, yeah. look at it. What? I can't see it. The um, in the well, way. we'll go full screen. Don't worry. We're giving the science pod a run for their money. Really. Yeah. yeah. They, you know, to be honest, we were ready to launch this weeks ago, and they stole it from us. They yeah. Of our technology. Yeah. Yeah. Hub, you better bring that up next time. About how? Oh, here we go. Yeah. So early in the game, the Badgers kind of went ahead, but then Maryland yep, came back. 7 0 run, and then Maryland comes back, going up 14 to 7. Yeah. Bucky. Suleiman was kind of hot. Suleiman's always hot. Yeah, and then we go on a big scoring run. Vito. Vito just Vito playing the game. absolutely well. He's shooting the ball right out. And Nigel Hayes, all of his baskets were threes. He had four threes. And a nice find to Khalil right there. Yeah, the bench was loving it. The bench came up clutch in the game. You know, they did the little things right. Oh, and here's our... Uh, oh, they, way to go, Diamond Stone. <laughs> yep, Mr. Wisconsin. Good, good for you there. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this We'll talk about, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about it later. Look at that. That's unreal. Wisconsin wouldn't want him anyways. Yeah, we don't want players. Like yeah, it haps better. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 He's an so, I think the second half we really just yeah, I mean, well, over a actually ball. we were a little well because we were playing with the bench because Choli and Hap got four fouls right away. So then you know then then Maryland brought it closer, but then with ten minutes we put in our studs back in, and the better team won. It showed for yeah, sure. Yeah, we were hitting shots like there's no tomorrow. And, and how we're not ranked. This week is unbelievable to me. We're second in voting, I think. I know. We, get, we need a couple more quality wins than we right. Right. Yeah, do. Right. I think so win this week could really put us in the top 25. I agree. Yeah, but one thing I do think this win did is tournament. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is huge. Yeah. I think this was a yeah, huge win to get into that. Tournament. Really. And then, you know, Badgers need to do what Husky basketball is doing. Just get mm-hmm. hot at the right time. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but Hap played incredible defense. <laughs> Just so you know, folks, yes. Ethan Hap's a big man. He leads the... Uh, Steals in big man c- category in the Big Ten. Yeah. Yeah. He, so he's the leading and, and steal of, of, of forwards. We so. knew all about his scoring ability. We've just been yeah. waiting for him to finally start playing defense, which he is doing. It's so Straight baller in charge. Yeah, Vito Brown had 21 points. Very, very huge you know, in that game. Not to speak bad about a team or the Badgers, but Bronson Koenig really does need to step up. He does. Yeah. That, that, um, thank goodness we have people like Jordan Hill and you know yeah, those yeah. guys to step up for him. Vito Brown too. Or Vito and Showy, you know. My Showy's gosh. actually stepping up yeah, too. I told uh-huh. you. Yeah, I know you did. Showy fan. And yeah, I I like it. I like that Vito is finally stepping up as well because it's about time. Yeah. So, oh my God, yeah. So why are the Badgers on a winning streak? Is the big question. Why do we well, think? I, th- I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm playing I'm, defense yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Colin. I mean, yeah, it starts with Ethan Happ, too. He's playing great defense, you know, getting the steals, <laughs> boxing out. They're getting, they're winning the boards, I believe. Yeah. I mean, I don't have the stats to prove that, but we don't fact check. No, we, we, we don't. Seven percent of the time. Never we fact check. We don't. We won't. All right. Now they're also shooting the ball extremely well, especially one by the name of Vito Brown. Well, what a name, too. I'd love to be named Vito. Vito Nielsen. I think he's like <laughs> 9 for 15 on threes the last two games. Yeah, I mean, he's um, just on We're taking good shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. We are finally playing what I call Badger Basketball. basketball. Yeah, yes, basketball. we are. Yeah. You know, the other night, some people were telling me, oh, Maryland, you know, if Maryland would have went on that scoring drought. Well, guess what? Badgers go on scoring droughts, too, and so does every other team in the land. You want to know why Maryland went on that scoring drought? Because the Badgers played good defense. Yeah, they did. Maryland could not get a good shot off. We were contesting every single one of those shots and, this, and rebounding. And this is symptomatic of a Bo Ryan team, now a Greg Gard team. Mm-hmm. 
what do the Badgers do best? Get to the free throw line yep. and play quality defense. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. It's all coming together. It is. It, we're piecing the puzzle. Yeah. Oh, what do yeah. you think about that? Oh, I just think that the Badgers are just doing everything right at the right time mm-hmm. and just really showing up for like how this team like just looks on off the court. I, I, I agree. I agree. Yep. Um, so Wise words. Question is, what do we got Michigan State this week? Yes, we Thursday. do. Thursday. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know, That's you know, like Michigan, Tom, State, yeah. uh, Michigan State. Yeah. Michigan State. Tom Izzo was a great coach. And Michigan Tom State, Tom watching State Michigan State, State play Sunday against Indiana, holy cow. Yeah, Michigan State's hot. Bryn Forbes, Denzel Val- Valentine, those guys can't miss. Bryn Forbes shoots 50% at the three-point line. That is yeah, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. And Matt Costello, just double-double machine as well as mm. Pap. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to always pick Bucky. Yeah, but like emotions. Right. I think it'll be another. It's going to be a close game. game. The if first time they played, didn't uh, we won by one, right? Bucky won by one against me. Yeah, yeah. half. First half half. half. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, th- the I game think winner. it's going to be another one of those nail biters, and mm. I'm I'm excited for it. Is a game at Michigan State yes. true? Yes. Okay, that's going to make it a little tougher. Yes. So yep. you know you're going to have those couple points uh, at swing for the home team, but oh yeah. um, you know Badgers are hot right now, and I don't know when the last time they beat two top te- two top ten teams in a week. Well. We don't fact yeah. check. We don't so fact we check. Well, I'm guessing they have probably last year is what I'm going to guess. I mean, so if listeners out there, fact check that for us. Lord knows we can't. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, I, I'm going to also pick Bucky by three. I, I, yeah, I'm taking Bucky, but close game for Who sure. Who doesn't take Bucky? I guess, yeah. Vixie. I'm taking Bucky and another nail biter. With a one point win at Michigan State. Well, another <laughs> nail biter? Who's, who's going to have the game winner? Didn't they have the nail biter last year in the Big Ten Championship, too? Yeah. Like that well, last second shot or something? Well, it may, it, I don't know. About I don't that. know. Yeah, it was close. We put it in, yeah. We put it in, oh, are you talking about in the Big Ten? Yeah, Big Ten. We put it in the OT. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, we, and we went on yeah. a 13, or we, we scored all the points in OT. All right. Uh, my, I think we're going to win because we're going to, right now, the Badgers are shooting the three ball well, even the jumper. So we're going to expose their weaknesses, and that showed against Indiana that, you know, you get in transition and you pop, you Mm -hmm. stop and pop, you can score off them, and I think the Badgers shooting well right now will do that. So, All right. I think we're going to move on to Diamond State. Oh, we hate. You can see him right there on your screen. (laughs) We're Um, just going to put a mug shot of him like, (laughs) is that what you can't go back? Yeah. There he is. Look at him. Not much to say about that guy. We might offend the brain or... uh, Chip, so easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, good fired. I, 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 I only say I like Maryland just to make you guys angry. You guys. No, you actually mean it. it. Yeah, you think I actually do like Maryland? <laughs> no. Yeah, we sometimes. Their jerseys, their football. I hate them only because their football jerseys and their helmets make me. Mad. I just don't I like them because they're not like them. The actually, I'm gonna helmet. go Maryland for the worst uni, but we'll get there later. Vito Brown. The question is, guys. Look Should at that Diamond Stone have been ejected for slamming yes. Vito. Yes. Yes. That's not even a jump ball in the first place. Look at that. No, I think it's he was uh, tackling him. Yeah. Did did he even get a technical for that? He did. He, he did, did. But he should have technical sh- with Charlie Thomas and yeah, because Thomas stuck up for his teammate. Yeah, in the you know the very well, favorite t- tism refs could have stuck up for that him. is I mean Brady I'm gonna I'm gonna not disagree with you there. Who gets called the most? The retaliation. Yes, all the time. And and as bad as it is, you know I agree. I think uh, Brown should should have gone with that. That's great. I don't even not angry at him, but Vito. Should he have been ejected? Maybe he was. He was suspended one game by Maryland, though. Yeah. He's not playing. Uh, yeah, because the NCAA NCAA would look foolish if they didn't do anything about this. Yes. Yeah. Is yeah. is that too much or too little? I'm gonna say it's too little. Well, I think it's two games. I think Maryland kind of did this on purpose because I don't think Minnesota's won a game in the Big Ten yet. So it was like they the perfect true. game. Yeah, to perfect game. Yeah, for. yeah, perfect. Um, I, so, I, bravo, Maryland. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're glad that you take guys with 12 on your ACTs. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the suspension is just right. I mean, the guys, we have to remember, he's an 18-year-old kid, you know. True. I mean, like, it, I don't like it. We hate the Diamond Stone. Um, I just wish he could have maybe done something a little yeah. better on a, on, a, yeah. on a test he once took and, you know, yep. could have gone to Madison. But, um, you know, I don't want he's him. a kid. He gets emotional. Yeah. He should be suspended. I think it was the right thing to do. Now, yeah. I get, I, again, 
would Maryland have done that had they been playing in Michigan State next? I well, don't know. I mean, I agree with they you, but at the same time, it. but at the same time, nowadays, like I was talking with my dad, this you see so many teams self-imposing bans upon themselves because they don't want the NCAA to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So who knows what the NCAA would have done with this? Yeah, good you know? point. Yeah, I mean, I'm inspired by Maryland. You know, I mean, like right. we we'll always lose for one game against a team that hasn't won a Big Ten. Game all year. They almost did deal. beat Iowa and Iowa, so who knows what will happen. God, that'd be awesome if Maryland yeah, lost. Oh, yes. I, would just, I just I'd love, love that. Maryland losing. Yep. Actually, technically, I want them to win that way, or win looks better. Really? Well, I mean, if... That, oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess it makes our win look better, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we hate the Diamond Stone. Yep. Truth. All right. Yep. I think we're going to... Now, if, if you guys haven't checked out our uh, tweets, you have to... Make sure to look at every single one of them. For sure, yeah, you got to know what's There's going on. There's a great on. video yeah. about about what we're going to show you a video of right here. Are you, are you going to show your video? No, we're showing oh. the actual video. I think yours is the video. Okay, right, so watch this. let me give you a little recap. Grace and Allen is Saturday. He plays for the Dukies, obviously. Need. The next Christian Leitner, I'd like to say. <laughs> Christian Leitner, <laughs> JJ Reddick, we hate, Reddick. Or we the hate next that. Stereotypical yeah. of hate hated white guy on that's, yeah, that's that's what always that. does have a hated that, white guy that's what I'm getting at but I'm but example just, okay if, Reddick. yeah watch just watch this video and tell me <laughs> tweet at us is it a travel yeah, Hoff I don't that. want your opinion no, yeah or Bobby K no one cares already all over Twitter I I Bill, if you want to tweet at us please yeah, go every, for every, it every time Hoff, Hoff sees me in the hallway he always says it's not a travel well let's just watch yeah let's okay yeah we gotta yeah let's get this for the people this is unreal I oh my goodness so Grace and Allen, yeah, I, I, I hate go. watching this. I, I can't. I can't. It's I'm good. Look away. Good. That's a good closeout. Uh, One, two, three. Yeah, lands on his foot and puts it up. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. I think there's a total of like twenty. Let's show. Let's show a play. Just did they bring in the NBA refs to ref that game? Oh, whoops. That allowed traveling. I bet they did. I bet. Yeah, they, they did. did. They probably did. The replacement refs. We'll rewind it here. I kind of skipped ahead. My bad. Easy there. Uh, but they will show a replay. This was just. They were like this all Grayson. Dude, watch his just watch his feet. Okay, let's watch when he picks up so his dribble. dribble. So he picks it up right here. One, two, two three. Up, up. You can't see his foot land, but lands. You can tell where it lands. Yeah, yeah. In all realisticness. Really, he does take three steps. Though, and if do you if goes. you think about it, would any ref call a travel in that situation? Probably not. Honestly. Probably not. I wish they would because it would hurt the Dukies. Yes. It would break their fans' heart. So is it a travel or a foul? It's 100% a travel. It's hard, It's travel, and then maybe you could say a foul, but well, nobody... It is a foul, but... But the travel should have got whistled first. Yeah, the travel should have got whistled first. Exactly. See, yeah, one, one two, two, three. three. Yeah, Duke Landed. Landed. He's, he's, he definitely landed. Yep. Yeah. So Duke's win come now, now has an error of plus or minus one. Yeah, and the thing <laughs> that I'm angry about is they're ranked again. Yeah, no. Oh. Like, I liked it when... Oh, oh that's okay. Uh, you know, guess who's going to wax them on Wednesday? Carolina Blue. Oh. Yeah. Go uh, UNC. Yeah. Yep. That's going to happen. Yep. So how much do we hate Grayson Allen is the question. What is the answer? A lot. I mean, I, personally, I didn't like him before the season started just because he's the reason why Duke won the national championship. Yep. Got a little bit of beef with Grayson. I also hate the Dukies. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Yeah. Who doesn't, Neil? Who doesn't? Hoff, <laughs> Jay Billis, Dickie yeah. V. Yeah, oh, yeah, a lot of okay. people. Christian yeah. Leitner. But enough of that Duke. Yeah, we're not going to too much. Conversation. Yeah. Uh, OU Kansas, another rematch. Kansas really proved to be one of the, the, better, the, team. Be the better team in the Big 12. And yep. arguably the nation. Yeah. yeah. It's it's two, these are yeah. two high-quality teams. Oh, yeah. These are two elite eight teams, right, but, I think. But it shows OK or o OU didn't even show post presence w at all. Kansas dominated them. Devontae Graham stepped up again, like I said, after the <laughs> first game. Uh, Buddy Buckets, you know, he couldn't hit in the first half. But, yeah, I mean, Kansas Kansas and Oklahoma, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if you see both of them in the Final Four. Oh, yeah. I, I'm I, I still think Oklahoma can get a one seed. Yeah, I think it's going to be tough, though. For sure. I think they get a one seed. And UNC, maybe Michigan State. Yeah, they're Michigan State. So West Virginia. Mm -hmm. People are talking Iowa. Mm -hmm. No, I don't, overrated. I don't think so. Overrated. Yeah. So, some upcoming games to watch. Uh, Wednesday is UNC Duke. Um, Go a good rivalry there. That's that's a big rivalry. Hopefully. Do you have a name for that game? I don't. I don't uh, know. 
I don't know, but it's the I, maybe the Battle of Tobacco Road, to, something like that. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't we know. can't fact. We don't, we don't know. know. We don't know. The no, this and then is. also, there was a game. Uh, Texas is hot right now. West, Wait, West Virginia, Virginia plays at Texas tonight. So Augie, it's gonna be two similar even you're gonna have to play, watch right? in your They're pocket. Very similar styles. Yeah, play. two similar styles. Yeah. that's gonna be Wait, exciting. Is, isn't Shaka game smart coach in Texas these days? Yeah, Shaka. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then one Texas Tech has got. They just beat Iowa State and Baylor. And they Oklahoma goes to Texas Tech, so that'll be a good game. Oh so yeah. those were a couple games. I wanted to just make sure everyone's watching out there. You big college basketball Actually, nuts. I've just been fact check. Nick Holbach has the last time Bucky won back to back games against top ten teams was March fifteenth and sixteenth, two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen against Michigan and Indiana in the Big Ten tourney. Wow. wow. So I was right. I think I believe I said that right. Yeah. Yeah, right. Those exact words. Oh yeah. Pretty sure. All right. Um, um, Providence and Xavier. God, we wait. I mean, that's a Providence is just going downhill. Right that's now. one of the things the pod messed up on. We way overrated them. Yes, yeah. we did. As a crew, I apologize, fans out there who yeah, depend on us. We're as sorry. Come on, yeah, you the people. I did. We all like yeah, the people. Big East. Remember when we talked about how good the Big East oh is, my right? God, they're man. not. Besides Villanova, and I don't even know if they're that good yeah, because they, they the they've East. lost teams like Virginia. But like the Big East, like Marquette. Just inconsistent. Sad. Yeah, remember all the Sad. tank from Ice Lake? We're all getting yeah. hyped on them. Wait, Q, why don't you come on now and tell us about Marquette, yeah, get, huh? We'll call get you up. up. We'll yeah. call you up. Yeah. Yeah, we're way over it. That's, but guys, we're sorry. We usually are the best source for your sports knowledge in the world. Well, we always are. We, but yeah. you know, this is one thing we messed up, guys. It's our rookie season. Please give this one to us. Yeah, tell your friends about us. We want more listeners. And again, folks, stay tuned oh, yeah. for a chance at that trivia question coming up shortly. Have a chance to shoot a half-court shot at the game on Friday and win gift cards. It's epic. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention quick about college basketball. Uh, Joe Lenardi, the bracketology man, uh-huh. has predicted the Badgers as number nine. Yeah. So we are in right now. Hopefully we can keep that locked. And yeah. as of Marquette, no. 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 I don't think it's not. They have to win the Big East tournament, which is not going to happen. No, not going to happen. Highly <laughs> doubt it. But, but um, Henry, I think last thing. I a comment here. Henry Allenson. Who did? Who did? Quentin Gerhardt's did. Q, what's up? Man the Myth. He said, he, he just commented Marquette with the big win over Providence, and my response to that, or our response to that would be, that was probably like a couple weeks ago, and it's not really relevant. No, so it was last week. It was last week. Not at all. They should have won anyways. They should have closed that game. Our response will be silence. I, yeah, but, who cares? But Q, if I must, <laughs> Q, if yeah. I must say something, Henry Allenson... On the, the green room, the draft board, he's number three or four right now. So he well, is playing well. He, he needs impressive. to keep it up. So he, the, he might be on the Milwaukee. He might not even have to leave the city. The Milwaukee Bucks can sure <laughs> yes. have him. Yeah. 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 Speaking of NBA, yeah. like how I did that, guys? Yep. Yeah. 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 The that transition. Was good. That was good. Yeah. All right. I'm <laughs> just, a, just a pro at the transition. <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> Nielsen is a pro. Guys, Every we are knows. at the very famous... Two-day mark for the NBA trade deadline, and today we already have some action. We have Irsan Ilasova and Brandon Jennings getting sent from Detroit to Orlando. Tobias Harris <laughs> bringing from going from the Magic. Yeah, what is this machine? Hold on, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Just hang on. Detroit basketball. Detroit basketball. We also have oh, some potential trade right. talks with Dwight Howard in the Rockets and the Hornets are talking right now. I think in the next two days we're going to see a lot of things happen oh now. Oh my gosh. We're so excited about <laughs> the NBA trade season. What are we excited about now? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, Scott? Show the people what you're doing. Tell the people what you're doing. I'm just, okay, I'm looking at this trade machine. Okay, hold on. I never knew this existed. We need to get this in here. Vic Smart, come here, please. Get get on your microphone. Come here. Okay, okay. Now, please yeah. tell the people... What the trade machine is and how often you are on the trade machine. Yes. Okay, a trade machine is a thing on ESPN that you can like try to do <laughs> any kind of trade imaginable and to try to see if it's if it could be successful in real life or a failure. So how often do you try to <laughs> make up potential trades for different teams? <laughs> Yeah, well, just like once per week, like around. That's there. a lie. You lie that once lie. per day. Yeah, yeah, you lie. Lie. Before, we, before we had some, we had some like stuff that happened a week ago that we took off. Tyler had literally like eight links to different trades he has. He has I made like successful. <laughs> yeah, we well we have 
Boogie to the Bulls, which I would love, by the way, and it makes sense a three-way trade with the Bulls, Sacramento Kings, the Atlanta Hawks. There are nine players in there this trade. There are nine players in nine this trade. Nine players. <laughs> that <laughs> is, <laughs> it is, they can make it happen. And the Bulls get Millsap, Cousins, <laughs> Rondo, and <laughs> Cephalosha. <laughs> that would be awesome. Oh, my goodness. So yeah. We have to give up Paul and Derrick Rose. That, and oh Tosh Gibson. I no, one's going, no one's going to care about Derrick Rose. <laughs> no, <maybe not. laughs> I'm sorry, Neil. <laughs> um, <laughs> promise passed him. But so, uh, I think uh, as far as potential trades, I think NBA-wise, Dwight Howard is going to be kind of the name that's going to yeah. stick out. You know, the Rockets are kind of looking to... Blake Griffin, maybe, too. I know he was in the debate, but... Yeah, but he's punching his own staff. Yeah. yeah. Can't that be, might hurt yeah. Him. yeah and, and the Clippers are doing well without him. Yeah, so yeah. why not trade him? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, okay. um, there's also been a few coaching... Well, almost a coaching change. We talked about George Carl was going to get fired and then was not going to get Psych. fired. But Derek Fisher has been let go. Yes, that was that was a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah, but either way, the big yes. question is: Tom Is Thibodeau. Tom Thibodeau going to make a a comeback? Or I Dennis Rodman? Dennis, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm tell us about fan this. Of Dennis Rodman. Tell us about why I don't know. Dennis I, Rodman. You know, I, I do watch the Sports Center the. every morning. The Sports Center. Thank mm-hmm. you. Every morning. Yep. And they're talking the second know, brought so up the news: Derek Fisher fired. So now they're talking, and I think I read an article some somewhere that Dennis Rodman wants to coach in the NBA, and I was like. Perfect. That's just a perfect opportunity <laughs> there. It's really <laughs> not, but no, it <laughs> so is a perfect opportunity. Just, it, and anywhere is a perfect opportunity for Dennis Rodman. Yeah, yeah. We are rooting. We, we want to see him. Coach. We are rooting for you, big fella. His last offer was to coach the North Korean basketball team <laughs> when he was visiting North Korea. I all was just going to bring that up. <laughs> I was just going to bring. That up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't take it. <laughs> he just passed because he was holding out for this next job. Mm. Um, but we do know Phil Jackson is a puppeteer. Uh, Larry yeah. Sanders wants to return to the NBA. Well, Larry Sanders, you should not punch people and break your hand and be off for all season. <laughs> yeah, Can Larry right. Sanders make it in the NBA? Is he going to be worth the risk? Maybe, I don't know. Vix, would you take a risk on uh, Larry Sanders? The Bucks would. I just they don't did. think so. I know. I, I just think we got moves. his best years was just past him. And yeah. there's like tons of good talent in the draft. Uh, and I just don't think that he could like stack up to those players. I agree. Uh, what about Jimmy Butler being out three to four weeks? Do you think that hurts the Bulls in the East? Or is huh? it... Do you think Jimmy Butler being out hurts the Bulls? Oh, three yeah, four definitely, weeks? Definitely. I think it easily... I, yeah, I think well, it easily yeah. a I mean, place or two. He's definitely their best player by by far. In three he's or four weeks, that could be seven, eight games. I mean, they got... More than that. Yeah, maybe. I mean, they got Powell. I mean, he's, he's playing... Yeah, they well, Jimmy playing Butler has been that team. I know, but yeah. He's definitely been the scoring we threat. Just oh, man. He will be missed. Absolutely. Blake Griffin gets suspended for four games for hitting an employee. What is with that? Like, why would you hit someone you work with? Yeah, the I thing don't that really, know. The thing that really angers the me. The thing that really that grinds that. my gears. Yes, grinds That's my gears. good term. Is I, I had him on my fantasy basketball team. Uh-huh. Had him. He, I had him, yes. Yes, okay. Had. Had. Yeah. Had. yeah. He, I think he had, like, a torn quad quad or something he was out for a couple weeks i was like and then he was about to come back i was anxiously awaiting his return sure because you know he's racking up big points on my fantasy team and then he goes and breaks his hand and oh i was so <laughs> mad <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, could, I can't yeah. even put it into words how mad i was i, know, so I, I dropped him immediately you were immediately, you were you were immediately. You were irate and I, I picked up some some other Jeremy. Yeah. For lack it of might have been Jeremy Lynn. <laughs> 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 no, he was already picked up. Oh, sad. What happened to me with Jared Jack? I've never been so angry that Jared Jack <laughs> tore his ACL. I didn't even know who Jared Jack was until this year, and now I'm angry he tore his ACL. Yeah. Um, that's, that's the story with Blake Griffin. So that covers most of the news. We do have to talk about All Star Weekend. Legit. We haven't, we've gone a while since we talked about our boy Porzingis. Yep. The only thing I like is the stats. He's in the the All-Star Weekend was the dunk contest. Oh, so what about the, what about the World versus the U.S. rookie game? Or young players? Rising Stars. Rising Stars, yeah. Porzingis went off for 30 points. American Pie was on. Are, are we... You had, a, you had a chance to watch the Latvian legend? Yeah, I know. I passed it That's the only reason I watched it. Yeah, but... <laughs> the I wasn't, I wasn't going to watch that garbage Three-point All-Star contest, game. It was just the Splash Bros taking over. Yeah, but let's, oh, take, yeah. let's take a look at this. Clay Thompson surprisingly won. Let's take a look at this dunk contest. Yeah, this dunk yeah, contest, contest is rigged. out of control. This is full highlights for Zach Levine and oh, really, Brady. Aaron Gordon. Brady. Gordon okay, deserved okay, the we'll, win. We'll get the debate. We'll, we'll debate. Hang on. Hang on. Let's mm-hmm. relax. Let's just let's just be silent and listen to the crowd react. Yeah, we'll turn this on. You guys can listen to that. Yeah, these these dunks were unreal. Mm-hmm. 
We're going to be silent on the Caster FM for a few seconds as we watch this clip. Uh, it's a dunk contest. Good, Everything's good, yeah. We're all good. Maybe all we could just club. give our personal, like, oh! Yeah. Boom! Oh! Onions! <laughs> Definitely, I could do Double that. Double order! Get the laundry up and deck Levine. I just yeah. love, I love everybody's reactions though when like they make this. Yeah, they're all like, he's done. Well, this one is this, is, this started this started off right here. Yeah, no, this, this is, is yep. insane in the membrane. It's like we're like lit at like over the f yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, is he dabbing? No, 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 he wasn't dabbing. The other the other the other dabbing, dabbing these days I heard was dab. Dab it. You're the no, this is from the free throw. Line. Yeah, no, his foot was over it. I mean, yeah. foot so over it. You, you see know, it. So is that not means. as good as so is that Michael means. Jordan's or Dominic Wilkins. Yep. Yeah. Still That's, impressive, close That's still impressive. It's a close though. third, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, me, uh, no, they thought it was all good. Now <laughs> this was another. They wanted Levine. Is it the mask? The use of the mascot is so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm really yeah. afraid of it blowing up and catching on fire. <laughs> it could <laughs> happen. Like this, this. Oh, yeah. Like, look at that. <laughs> yeah, did you not see this? Did you not watch it? Yeah. He grabs it with one hand. And he has his hand so on his The screen. only thing I told you I watched was the Rising Stars game because of Porzingis. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm watching this for the first time, people. This is live, hot, hard body karate action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nielsen's reactions here. You this is a good one, too. Oh. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> Nielsen, the, the best one is coming, though. Oh, yeah. The yeah. best one is coming. The, yeah. This is the best yeah. one. This is oh, the best yeah. one. Oh, this is the best go. one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, go oh, yeah. Takes a seat in midair. Bam. The, the commentator was yelling at this point. He's like, it's over. Yeah, it's oh, over. God, this is over. It's over. <laughs> it's never over till it's over. <laughs> but it's <laughs> over. Oh, oops, my that dog. was actually a good dunk contest, but not exactly. as bad as my dunk There's still more. more There's still more dunks. There's still there's there's a lot more, more dunks. Oh, yeah. There's maybe like three there's more. Five. Mm -hmm. This oh. is insane. Yeah, they're going to replay that. was so good. That was. There's, this is decent. The tomahawk chop. Yep. I want to do the Atlanta Braves right. right now, <laughs> but I'm not. Could be not the Chiefs, Cheeks. Not the Chiefs, the Braves. Yeah, Cheeks. Cheeks not listening. He's so Yeah, he is. He is. I'm pretty sure he was. And Gordon's like, he oh. was tweeting at us. Who was he? No, he, he has he more cheap things to do. He says, yeah, he says, it's, I don't know, some, it, I think this is cheap. Like, I, I can't ever imagine it doing says, this. He says, Jay Park should have been MVP. I assume he's cool. talking about the Rising Stars game. I can't ever, not I can't ever imagine doing this on 10 feet. I can only imagine doing this on like a six foot hoop. I can't yeah. even imagine doing it. On a hoop where I don't have to jump in the air. Oh, this is also good. Oh, yeah, that's a good oh. <laughs> yeah, but Let's that's skip ahead through the replays here. We know what it looks like. Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold easy. on. Easy. Easy. Oh, easy. Oh, easy. Hold on. Here, here's go here's go here's here's going here's going down. Yeah, Nelson, this one's legit, too. Over his head. That is legitness. Boom. 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 Wow. He goes... Head. But then, oh, what head. really sealed the deal is coming up next. Yeah. Yeah. They sh they gotta have a rematch next year. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have to. Yeah, they have to. Have to be in this. How about like this week on like Sunday? Yeah. Since there's no football. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's the winner. Here's the winner. This is. The, I'm pretty. Yeah, he got. He got. Yeah, he got shafted on that one. Yeah. Here's the winner. Yep, through the legs yeah. from the free throw. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think with talent because like it's h it's hard for me to tie my <laughs> shoes on a daily basis. Like, you know, I can't do this yeah. stuff. But well, I just feel like the one where Gordon sat in. Yeah, that's air. aggressive. I think that should have been over there. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. 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 The NBA is rigged. Well, enough of that. Only in that perspective, though. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and the All Star game, which. 200 points is not yeah. qualified. I mean, as the dunk contest is bad. Four point contest, marginal. What was the was the was the All Star game even fun to watch? No, no. I was disappointed. For I mean, three reasons. Yeah, well, can I tell you my first? Yes. Okay, yes. No defense. No, go ahead. No, you, okay, I'll go I mean, okay. I was just I thought <coughs> it was just such a defensive spectacle, like just it was Hands such down. a slow game, <laughs> so much defense being played. Not <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on. One hundred ninety six points. Are you kidding me? 
Just make it 200 while you're at it. That's the first reason I'm disappointed. I don't even know if the school scoreboards go that high. Yeah. Well, yeah, they should. I mean, we're in the the age of technology. We got to make them go up. To yeah. At least 200. You want to know when the age of technology? Because we actually have video today. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it's true. What else? Oh yeah. Paul George was like one point away from breaking Will Chamberlain's All Star scoring yeah, record, and, and the him. West didn't let it happen. It's like, come on. Yeah. Uh, Wait, because they were too busy playing hard defense. Yeah, they were playing. They were yeah. literally they <laughs> were playing defense like the last minute. I was. Really? By the way, Neil said, "Why start, start now? Sarcastic. Why start now?" Yeah. Why now? Why? The, oh. Okay. And, go ahead. and Kobe, all he did was pass the ball. No. I Kobe. guess. What he era does Kobe pass? It doesn't matter. It's his last All Star game. Just score 81 points. Just chuck him up. Seriously. Kobe! The only one. Kobe, if you're listening, we know you are. Yeah, if you're listening. Oh, okay. he chucked up some balls. Yeah. Didn't I, I heard Red Bread where Michael Jordan gave him all of the Jordans. Like, uh, as a gift. Uh, it was some like, collection, from I think. Collection of Jordans. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's, that's bad. We should reserve that for Cloth Talk. But I, yes. I was, like,. Yeah. The only all-star game that actually matters is the MLB. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I like what the NHL yeah. did this well, the year. The MLB does matter. If they get home court advantage, the winner gets yeah, home but, court. Yeah, but really, I... Yeah, but it sucked. Yeah. True. Yeah. 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 It yeah. does suck. It was sad. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait. No, we're talking about we're talking about. Oh, 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 oh. We got Wait, we're going golf. That's what I'm saying. Hey, folks, we're going oh, golf. Hey, and Melissa wants to talk about golf. We're going to talk about golf. 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 Yeah. All I do is, is golf. golf. Yeah. After we talk about golf, we're going to have that trivia question. So get ready, folks. And then at the end of the show, we're going to have cloth talk with our man Bixmer back there. So get <laughs> ready. Golf. <laughs> Colin, this is all. I mean, like I'm gonna. I mean, I am a golf coach, but I'm gonna pass it on to my golfers. Is golf life? Golf is life. Yeah, he's the golf and life coach. That's why. I'm yeah, I'm a yeah. golf. Yeah, I'm a coach. Coach golf. You also coach life. Yes. Golf is life. <laughs> yes. So, technically, Trans- I'd say I'm Trans- a golfer. Of, <laughs> of pie and I shoot around body like equations. I shoot around forty fours in the back nine at yeah. Yeah. fact check at the Mount Calvary five. Golf Course. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Holy <laughs> Land opening. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? This, the PGA is winding up here. Yeah, um, the Masters there. are coming. We're going to have a whole Masters special. Oh, that's going to be legit. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a lawn cutting special at the Masters. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we are going to <laughs> Colin, talk to us about the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. The that 18th took- T? Why do I have to talk about the 18th T? Because that's what we're I mean, talking about. That was that's only one part of that's just the an amazing Pro-Am. Pro-Am. I know, that's what I'm getting <laughs> at. <laughs> I don't that's think what he it's gets called. what you're saying. Yeah. Brain. No, I only watched the last round, but yeah. Basically what we got out of the, the AT&T Pro-Am at the legendary... Pebble Beach yes. in California is that Phil Mickelson choked Shock. hardcore. He's been doing that lately. He does not have yeah, it like he, he used to. He, he is David Hasselhoff, though. He lives you in know, the sand. A note of yeah. positive yeah. here. Von Taylor, uh, he, he did end up winning. And he, that was his first PGA Tour event win since 2003. Yep. That's good for him. Good, good for him. him. And uh, back to Phil Mickelson because we love talking about bad things that happen to people in sports. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think it w- he was one one back from the lead, from the lead going into 18. He has like a a five foot putt for birdie. That's not a long putt if for all, all of you guys that aren't golfers. That's like, you know, probably should make that 80 percent of the time. Especially if you're professional, probably 100 percent. And of especially the time. for Phil Mickelson, who's known for his short game. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he I there was a stat he was twenty three for twenty three on putts inside of five feet going into going into that putt on eighteen and he just missed it. He, he just missed just it. missed it. Do you think when we talk about golf from here on in the pod, we should talk like golf announcers just like he was twenty three for twenty three inside of five feet. If you're just a golf broadcaster, you speak silently. Yeah, 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 maybe a theme. One, yeah, so the one, kids Yeah, he has one five on foot the eighteenth green to win. Program. For pot. Any, Any misses. Any chokes. Any chokes. And the Kraken comes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's a Kraken. Um, I think. You, know, that, you got any more? No, I think. I'm going to. I'm getting ready, ready for the Masters. That says, hey, we're, we're going to talk about golf yeah, because yeah, golf is life. We're golf yeah. enthusiasts. But we're now, good. get ready, folks. Here it is the trivia question. Again, the trivia question. You can have a chance to shoot a half court shot this week, Friday, at the boys' game against Ron Colley. Uh, and then if you make the half court shot, which would be awesome, you win some gift cards. So here we go. Get ready. Listeners on Caster Drive Time, get ready. I'm going to spit out the question. You're taking three. Yeah, folks. Three. You, I do not want to see any comments on the answers on the side of the YouTube stream. 
That would be email terrible. us. Email us. I'll give you the email. And yeah, if you comment on YouTube, we're not counting you. No, and you're just gonna no. give everybody the answer. So yep. it's gonna and be terrible. Have Here's the eight. trivia yeah. question. Yeah. Here it is. And we're only accepting one answer per person. Yes. True. Yes. First three, first three to email get to shoot the half court shot. Here we go, everybody. Here's the trivia question. The trivia question is for a true pod fan. When was the first week where all four Pod Squad members were together for a podcast? Email your answer to thenhpod at gmail.com. Once again, thenhpod at gmail.com. That's the question. When was the first week where all four Pod Squad members were together for a podcast? It's really... And just to clarify for the answer, we want, we want your answer in weeks and then a number. Yes. Week and then a number. Mm-hmm. Yep. And remember, I mean, like, we, how do we feel about the last uh, half-court extravaganza that we put on? Well, Hunter was, was the closest. Hunter yeah, was, was the closest. Was it, it was particularly sad, one could say. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that once one. A, <laughs> but once again... Particularly sad. Yeah. I think it was it was awesome. Like everybody was getting excited. Everybody wanted them to make it. So, folks, if you want to shoot that half court shot, email us right if you now. You want to be the hype. Yeah. If you oh. want to be the hype, I'm the hype man. But if you want to be the hype at the <laughs> basketball game, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Dude, I was down and only because the ball got stuck and I couldn't get it. Again, we want we want uh, we want yeah. week and then a number. Just say week. What was it? Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Okay. Anything like that. No, well, it's, I just uh, what, what's going on now? We got we got an email from Tyler Petrie. He gave us a, a date when I specifically <laughs> said <laughs> Petrie. No, he's, he's come on, uh, cheers, sorry, cheers, cheers, Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, I had to say well, <laughs> not the week date. What week? Like he week said, one, one week, two, two, we have three, week four, we week five, week six, holy cheeks, better roll next night. We, we gotta have a listener seminar. Or week eleven. Yeah, could be right, 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 right now. Yeah. Here's a legitimate answer. Again, question. We're going to move on to Cloth Talk. Just an epic segment here. Again, oh, uh, this is the last wait. time I'm going to say the question. When was the first week where all four Pod Squad members were together for a podcast? Email your answer to thenhpod at gmail.com. All lowercase. We'll say the trivia question at the end of the show after we're done with Cloth Talk. Why so make sure you that? email us, folks. This half court shot could potentially put you on the map. I don't know what where map. I got that from. What, yeah. what, you could, like what you map? Could, yeah. Like you could be the hype. What map? You could be. I'm still waiting for emails, folks. I know I know. there's listeners. Just, you got to do it. Yeah, we know you're out there. I yeah. think we're going to move yeah. on to Claw Talk with our man Tyler Vixmer. I'd say that's pretty appropriate. Uh, we're going to play our little intro here. Uh, our mics will be muted for a s- couple of live. seconds. Yep. But here we go. This is Claw Talk with the host, Tyler Dixon. Tyler Claw is going to be the news for the sports. Okay, welcome, pod watchers. Fam. Watchers, listeners, fam. pod fam. We call them the pod fam. All right. Okay, we're going to start with the Oryx Buffaloes. Yeah. And Nielsen, I think you really like this story. I do like this. I do like oh. this. In a world where baseball jerseys are just becoming like anything that you want to be, it's like special nights. Like, we, we see the Tomb Raiders... It's like cow jerseys, <laughs> Star Wars jerseys, like whatever oh, there Wars. is. Oh yeah, the Oryx Buffaloes, like a a jersey out uh, a team out of the Nippin Professional Baseball League. Nippin? Yep, Nippin Professional yep. Okay. Baseball League. These, yep. these, yeah, they're these are legendary. They're, they're going to be wearing plaid 
baseball jerseys. Which is my all favorite year. color. Everybody knows I really that's have my no favorite idea color. where Oryx is. I'm they literally look these, up. these jerseys literally look like a picnic table. <laughs> they look awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. There's just. I one yeah, I'm not. I'm not criticizing hey, them. They there's a one like on a no, I'm saying. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I think I. S you and I have the right minds because I said that the other day too. Yeah, it there's does. A, there's yeah, one hundred percent chance. Does. It does. Yeah. That I go to an Oryx Buffaloes game this summer. <laughs> just yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, we'll be there. Just to get a jersey. Yeah, yeah. Oryx is in Japan. Oh. Uh, like I said, oh, okay. I'm going to Japan. Okay. All right. And wait, All right. I mean these. These jerseys here are like probably debatable for coming on our, our list that we're gonna give you next as the twenty five worst jerseys in sports. I'd false. There's number one best jersey. Are, in all are you kidding me? Jesus. They, just <laughs> they just might. I don't know. I don't know if I'm buying that. Okay. Thanks all right. For, all right. All right. <laughs> thanks for thanks for finding. Like, how you found a plaid baseball jersey in the middle of the Nippon Japan League? I have no I idea. I don't know. I just just look up like AX or news like. Like the craziest things I have found. I don't know you find you the craziest. You don't have to tell us this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We you trust guys, we you trust guys you. know me. Yeah, we know. That's yeah. why we got cloth talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't record it. Do you know what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Vix, I mean, like Vix, I, I mean, I believe you, but these links that we have provided, all I'm seeing are logos. I'm not seeing any jerseys. Oh, really? They're, 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 they're just picture links. Oh, really? Yeah, you're going to offend him. Vix, right. what, what else we got? What are we moving on to okay. next? Okay. Where's Buffaloes? I want to see these. What are we, do you want to talk about? It is retro jersey fever for Black History Month in the NCAA. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. where, the so bad, where the Wisconsin Badgers, the Maryland Terps, the Ohio State Buckeyes, Kansas Jayhawks, all wearing retro jerseys that pay tribute mm -hmm. to the past. Good That's pretty awesome. I love when good, they do this. Good one, Vic. Yeah. Good one. Except, like except I don't love when they put sleeves on them. Like yeah. Maybe that's yeah. Down with yeah. sleeves. Down with sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you talk about Kansas too? Ooh, Vic. Yes, okay. Vic, these Kansas jerseys are lit. Oh, I like oh, that you find you those. Good. Right. I like those. Those are cool. Yeah, I've seen like them um, Kansas Jayhawks wore like a lot of like some retro jerseys like for like the past two years. Like they're like different designs, like Yeah. Vixmer. You are a, a man on the inside. Uh, that you, find you that you had of Kentucky. The yeah. The yeah, the unique geek, literally, because that find you had of Kentucky, they're now like they have a contemporary logo right now. So good yeah. find, man. I know. Folks, I wanna mention that we do have one correct answer so far in our trivia question. Tyler Petrie, please stop sending us emails because <laughs> you cannot <laughs> get <laughs> <it>. Tyler <laughs> Petrie. You cannot you cannot guess again you already guess we have two. Oh we have it's two. I, we got one from Quentin Gerhardt's. There it is. Yeah. Q, so you're I coming to your hosting? Q, can you come? Can you hit us up? Q, can you hit us up? Q, are, are you gonna be? Are you gonna be at the game on Friday night? Yeah. Can you or comment? Else we have to pass comment it to on our else. YouTube live stream. Or Q. just, or just text one of us. Bro. Just do something. I cannot believe this. But if Quentin, Quentin Gerhardt's if, making an appearance, Quentin, if you if you can make it, you are. Bring Ken Allenson with you. There's one more spot open, folks. Again, the question is: When was the first week where all four Pod Squad members were together for a podcast? Email us um, at the nh pod at gmail dot com. All lowercase. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Get in that. And Vic, so what else we got coming up yeah, on Vic. the cloth? We have the black okay. history okay. jerseys. For number three on the list today, the Jazz, the Sacramento Kings, and. Detroit basketball. <laughs> All the yeah, like, new jerseys and possibly logos for next year. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll be here it. for the Detroit Pistons. Is their logo? It might be a mix of past and the present. Really? Like the Bad Boys era. Oh, oh, oh the yeah, Detroit the bad, 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 boys. bad Boys. And then we haven't seen that thirty for thirty. Watch it now. Watch it. Are you telling me I should hold off on getting a Boogie Kings jersey this year and wait for the new logo? Ah, uh, I think. All right. All right, fair. I'm, 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 you're my, yeah. you're my, you're my uni geek, so I'm, I'm uh -huh. just gonna listen. What do we got next, Vic? So you got okay. Florida Panthers. Yeah, Florida the Pan Florida Panthers of the NHL are going to like unveil a new jersey and logo for next year, which incorporates an airborne, the airborne logo, which is like a Florida part of the army, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so like big in Florida, so they want to pay homage to. Yeah, I know like the Jaguars do it. The okay. Jaguars do it too, with like the shield. Okay, okay. sure. Okay. So in the in the they're Panthers, like a, are like a big military town, like oh. area in the uh, USA. So sure. I actually kind of wish the Florida Panthers would come be a hockey team in Wisconsin, but I actually wish yeah, they'd, they'd, be they'd be the Wisconsin Panthers. Yeah. yeah. Wisconsin Muskies. Right. Uh, what do we got True. now? The NBA new logo for next year's All Star Game. Yep. Oh. Or in Charlotte. Yep. There it is. 
You better purple and teal and fire. Oh, it's glory. Hey, can we quickly talk about how jacked we all are that the Charlotte Hornets are finally back to being the Charlotte Hornets? Yeah. yeah. And they purple got that and teal. Sweet purple and teal. Uh, yeah, that, that is it. nice. I do like the colors. Man, nice. my jack. I used to have a starter pullover. Back in the day with Larry Johnson, Grandpa. What, ha what happened to it? it? What happened to it, Vixie, if I found it, I would just wear it in <laughs> the car. I would be sweating here wearing my starter <laughs> pullover. Charlotte Hornets jacked up. Start Germany's looking, man. Jersey. Start yeah. looking. Ugly. Unbelievable. All right. Okay. Unbelievable. Well, folks, I, I got to sign off answer. here. Okay. So I got to go. We got five minutes. We got five minutes? Okay, yeah. I'm a little ahead of the game. Answer I have five here. duties. Uh, yeah, 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 Quentin did respond. He said he will be home shooting the half court shot. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're, we're about to move on to the top twenty-five worst jersey in sports. But again, our trivia question: We got one spot open. Um, Adam Schultz and Quentin Gerhardt are winners so far. So. Please email us. Again, the trivia question is, when was the first time all four Pod Squad members were together for a podcast? Email us at vnhpod at gmail.com, all lowercase. Have your chance to shoot a half-court shot at the game on Friday and potentially win a gift card. Mm. Now, for the people watching at home or listening, um, are, when we go through these jerseys, are we? is this going to be on the YouTube? Yes. yes. All right, perfect. So, like, if you guys are listening, please switch over to the YouTube. If you're driving in the car, pull the car over. To Link on out. YouTube. Yeah, search the New Holstein podcast. I mean, don't cause any traffic incidents. I mean, we know, you know, a lot of people be pulling over right now and watching. We want to take, take this journey with want, you. Yeah, I want to take take the journey with us, Lion. So the first, the first one, I think. Yeah, that is, is the this, first one. Is on this the is this the twenty is this the twenty fifth one or the first one? Oh, right? It doesn't matter. Either way, I think it's the twenty fifth one. First, go from the first one. To worst. The Toronto Raptors. Look at that. That is just dirty. Oh. The I, I like that. The inaugural award. You did? I like it, okay? It reminds me of Vince Carter. Just do it. True. Yeah, yeah, Vince, Vince Carter did Carter rock that jersey yeah. in time. the dunk contest. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair Jalen enough. Rose was a Raptor. Yeah. I just don't. I'm just not a fan My of boy. The, big, the big Raptor. Not a no, fan. it looks yeah. like a little. It's like it looks like, like a Barney. Hey, the yeah. 90s. The 90s, man. No one wants man. to be Barney. All right, just remember the Suns yeah. have with Charles Barkley, the Rockets. Yeah, the round mound of no. 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 the Rockets, no. first two champions. That's just terrible. All right, what's the next one here? It's, oh, Seattle Seahawks. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is dirty. I don't like them. So That's bad. gross. I don't like, no. I Come on, I can't even look Just it. wait until the NFL does like a neon, neon, neon <laughs> green full look for the Yeah, because you guys fixed. We forgot no, to quick. mention in Claw Talk, I heard rumor, actually, I don't know if you've heard of this, of the oh. Green Bay Packers doing a color rush. Oh! Did you hear that, Vince? Yeah, I thought all teams were like, um, right, all, yeah. all teams for Thursday night. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing that it's mostly going to be like. Cool. Oh, is that a way to sell more jerseys? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're like. All right, next one. You'll be happy if your Bears going out in orange jerseys. Or <laughs> orange jerseys, orange <laughs> pants, orange socks. Oh, yeah, I love it. You know, there's one team All in right. this list that tried that didn't work. The mighty <laughs> Ducks of Anaheim. Let's look at this. Oh, Just the big duck out. with the stick. I like that. I'm into this. Slap one. shot. I, I have yeah. always liked the, the Mighty Ducks of the Ducks movies, movies yeah. Yeah. I love. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks. Quack, quack. I'm mighty on Ducks board was a good movie. All right. And oh goodness gracious! Oh, Welcome six, back. The Pittsburgh the turn of the century or the turn of the you turn back the clock. Turn back the clock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vix knows about those. We heard about this years ago with Tyler Vix. Yeah. Those are just god awful. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't get this one. I don't get this one either. Like a lot I of people. I like those. I don't, I don't know. know. Like a, I heard like a lot of people like saying that. I mean, you, you could read like below. Same thing about the Cardinals current jerseys. I mean, I really don't see it either. Yeah, I has like all this weird stuff like going on on the jersey. This doesn't yeah. look right. All right, next one is the Buffalo Sabers. Those are terrible. I don't know. But I don't, I don't like know. Maybe I'm in blue well, gold. it's not criticizing the jersey. Maybe it's just criticizing the logo. Could be. Could be. Could be. What's yeah, up maybe. next here? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Nashville yeah. Predators oh. mustard oh. gold. The mustard. The mustard. The mustard. The mustard. Red mustard. Yellow ketchup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, uh, that's that's awful. Next yeah, one is pretty dirt now. I don't get this one. I don't either. get what? those either. Why? Why? I don't know. I I don't know. I I just think yeah, I like the Buffalo Bills. The Miami Marlins look. Yeah, the Miami Marlins. Oh, I don't. Man. I like the Marlins. Next one is just dirty. I'm a fan of those. I skipped that. I apologize. That's fine. Because. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. 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 Yes. Yes. Denver Mannings coming in strong. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, the oh, next oh. one. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh my god! The Everglades! Oh, the Everglades! The Everglades. <laughs> I'm confused to play that night. That was terrible. That was terrible. I sell I sell my own jersey on hey, eBay you know for a penny. Do you, do you notice they have snowflakes on their socks? Oh, oh yeah, oh, but oh, you know, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay, dude. we uh straight out of my face. My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, back to the back. Turn back to the back. Turn back to the back. Yeah, sorry. Late, late to the gun bleacher report. Uh, the Atlanta Hawks. We've yeah, already seen these. I, 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 like like I, I don't like those. I don't like those. I don't like those. I'm hearing that jersey that just goes from black from the jersey to red on the shorts. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, um, we've seen the MLS franchise. It does just stripes. Is this supposed to be the logo maxed? Possibly. This is 1997. stripes motif. Either way. we. Either way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh That is a stabs <laughs> hockey just <laughs> let me down. Wow. That, is, that hurts Come my on, Zebra man. Stripes is chewing gum. Can you? Can you really yeah, where is one? He won those everywhere. That looks like Zebra Stripes, stripes chewing gum. Or hockey refs. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That hurts my eyes. Next one. Like like Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, yeah, our man yeah. Jordan Olaf. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Was yeah, that was a bad. I, yeah. like t- I like to call me a blue. Yeah. yeah that's not yeah. terrible. I'm not. I'm, I'm uh, bad. I like that blue. than the Florida Everglades one. Yeah. The Everblades. I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah. All right, next. Uh, no. Yeah. I already yeah. said I hate this. I already hate this. I like the flag. I like the flag. I like the flag. Charles Barkley would say, terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah. Okay. Terrapins okay. are terrible. Yeah, we're almost I'm done here. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Not, not, not terrible, but it's still. Terrible. Terrible. No, I don't like them. surf style shirts I wore back in 91. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> Those are shirts from the 80s. Rainbow. Childish. Washington Capitals. Eh. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, it looks very autumn to me. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, like I just don't like the colors of that jersey at all. Yeah. Yeah. Just the orange together. Oh, yeah, no, those no, are no, no, no. Stick to wine and gold. Yes, thank you, Vex. What is this blue and black? I know. Right, blue is and black is and that? orange. I don't even know. Honestly, what is that? It's a '90s Cleveland Cavaliers look. Yeah. Like a uh, black. Light blue and orange combination. Yeah. For, for the record, I got a Oh, uh, there's the picnic I want to say something. Oh, look at that. I actually like the Astros jerseys that are coming up. No, you uh, don't. I do. Oh, the Tequila no. Sunrise. Did you see the last one? The Tequila Sunrise. No, I didn't see the last one. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to look at it and I'll get... Watch this. I'll watch this. It'll be up. It'll be up. <laughs> It'll be up on YouTube. And next week, we're getting my... Rendition of the last couple. Yes. I'm upset. I have to leave. These are yeah, the I bet the Tequila Sunrise Astro jerseys that they keep on wearing on throwback occasions. They're yeah. my favorite. The Croatia uh, national a, team. Those are. Yes, guys, this is the real picnic table. Those are bad and good. Yeah, right? that that is the real picnic table. Yes. Yes, it is. Next one. Syracuse. Oh, no, literally, literally, I was looking up pictures of that because they don't show the orange pants there. But that just looks absolutely awful. Yeah, it, it does. does. It does. does. But it really Browns reflects the Syracuse orange football yep. team because they are just awful. Syracuse. Next one. The Cuse. The Cuse. That no. 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 It's, no. It's just oh, the, the socks. socks. It's, it's the just socks. the socks and the, the shoes. Socks. I guess. That just doesn't look right. I mean, you okay. can, I mean that is definitely fair. Okay. Got to keep. All right, we'll skip this. Next one. Here's he. Nielsen loves these. I Life don't. Coach. I hate. Th- oh my gosh. Hate. I, I, I hate the Alabama. I don't I don't like that. I hate those jerseys. Is one of those they are pretty vintage. Like I mean, way. they're not bad. Numbers, but number on the pants? That's yeah, like, yeah. You yeah, do yeah, that in yeah. baseball. Yeah. That's not baseball. Uh, hey, on, just, just look now. We have the Diamondbacks with their snake skin. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Fix, right. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Max, we'll have to, have to see how those ones are. The Philadelphia Union, they're not terrible. I, Bimbo, <laughs> maybe. I, I, I like the Bimbo. team. Is the, next, is, this, is the next one the one or no? No. Tell me. No. Oh, I was looking at the Los Angeles Kings. Yeah, this, this the Los Angeles Kings run isn't working. Some people that, say that, that, the Bird King it. jerseys. It's terrible. It's so bad. It's bad. It's That's like bad. So bad. We know that the Kings run is absolutely terrible. Type Look it, it up. Type it in. Yeah. What I did is I typed in uh, a Los, Los Angeles Kings. Kings bad jerseys, and it's uh. And sh- the I'll first show the, show the pod squad here. The look goofy from the straight, and it's terrible. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, that's, oh. That's, oh. oh I, did, oh. I did actually post that in the agenda. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah it is pretty awful. Yeah. The yeah, it's All right, it's so it's the Cuse. Here's the next one. The next, this is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, I love this one. This is terrible. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, 
That's like my worst nightmare ever. These clothes are absolutely awful. Yeah, you're out of here. You're out. like, it looked like a Barbie threw up on them. Why don't they sprinkle some pixie dust on them? Yeah, I know. Oh, God. God, awful. Oh, my goodness. That was terrible. I think that might conclude our show, guys. Um, is that make again? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't think we got one more. We need one more person. <laughs> again, the question: Do you want to shoot a half court shot? Yeah. Why would you not want to shoot a half court yeah, shot? Like, I don't just understand. Listen. That. I mean, we'll we'll keep you updated on the Twitter sphere. Yeah. Uh, um, like again, you can still answer the, the question Twitter machine. Yeah. It's fair game. It is fair game. Again, fair. Like, uh, again the question is when. When was the first time the pods, all four pod squad yeah. members, were together for our podcast? Um, email us at the nhpod at gmail.com we want your answer in week and then the number yeah week number week number follow up make sure you guys follow us at the nhpod if you're listening on caster.fm right now give us a thumbs up if you liked it youtube channel also give us a thumbs up thanks guys for watching uh that can pause deactivate yep we'll i love you. those we'll awesome jerseys i love them we'll see you next time